How important is weight loss when trying to reverse prediabetes or type 2 diabetes? In other words, how much weight do I need to lose in order to actually make the reversal process a reality? There was some very interesting research that was performed in the early 2000s uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine. It tested out whether or not it was more effective to use metformin to lose weight and lower your blood glucose versus lifestyle change to lose weight and lower your blood glucose. And they perform a randomized control trial in multiple centers in a very large number of people. The actual number is, is evading me as we speak. But this got published in the most coveted scientific journal of all journals in the existence of the scientific literature, the New England Journal of Medicine. And the research paper was extremely clear in what it discovered, which is that when you change your lifestyle, your body weight and risk for diabetes is significantly improved twice as powerfully as when you use metformin. So metformin can also help you lower your body weight and can also help you control your blood glucose. But if you perform lifestyle change, which is make change to your diet and make change to your exercise regimen, you are twice as likely to get benefits and the benefits are twice as large. So what is the magnitude of change that is necessary in order to help you reverse diabetes? Well, what this paper discovered and what has been replicated multiple times that created the, the beginning of a program called the Diabetes Prevention Program or the DPP was very simple, which is that approximately 7% body weight loss is sufficient to get you to a, to a state in which you're, uh, you can reverse type 2 diabetes completely. Now, 7% body weight loss is a percentage based off of your initial weight. And so it's kind of a vague mathematical explanation for how much weight you have to lose. So it's going to be different for everybody because Robbie weighs a different amount than I weigh. I weigh a different amount than Colin, who's our producer. Colin weighs a different amount than my wife, Kylie. Kylie weighs a different amount than you. And so the 7% is just a proportion of your existing body weight. And of course, if you're overweight or you're obese, then it becomes a little bit more complicated. But the simple way to think about it is that if you can just take your body weight and you can multiply that by 0 0.93, which is you know, a 7% reduction, that will tell you what your body weight could be. And by doing so, you can significantly improve your chances of reversing type 2 diabetes. It's exciting, Cyrus. It's exciting. And the fun part is that the process of losing weight does not involve restriction. In the, in the mastering diabetes method, in order to achieve the 7%, you get to enjoy the foods that you're eating. It's really a beautiful process. So I hope you guys know that. Now, another thing too is in the Mastering Diabetes book, we actually gave you a explanation of exactly how to calculate your ideal body weight. So it might be worth going through that calculation right now because it can get a little complicated. So a simple way to think about it is that if you are female, the formula is as follows. The first five feet of height is equal to 105 pounds. Every inch thereafter is equal to four pounds. So let's just say that you are five foot six and you're trying to uh, calculate your ideal body weight. The first five feet is equal to 105 pounds. The next six inches is equal to 24 pounds because six times four equals 24. So you take 105 and you add it to 24 and you end up with 129 pounds. That right there is your ideal body weight if you are five foot six inches. Now, if you are male, the, the, the calculation goes, the first five feet of height is equal to 115 pounds. And then every inch thereafter is equal to five pounds. So if you are a five foot 10 male, that would mean that the first five feet is equal to 115 pounds. The next 10 inches is equal to 10 times five, which is 50. So you take 50 and you add it to 115 and you end up with 165. Okay. So you can use this basic calculation to come up with a simple measurement of what your ideal body weight could be. And when you can get to that level of detail, you can say, all right, well, I calculated my ideal body weight is supposed to be 185 pounds, but I'm at 212. Well, that tells you that in order to get to 185 pounds, you're going to have to lose approximately what's the number 27 pounds, right? Susie from Arizona says, uh, five feet, two inches. That's how tall I am. So does that mean that I'm going to be 105 pounds, um, plus, Every foot equals four pounds. So it's almost, almost, Susie. Let's, let's do the calculation together, okay? 
if you're five feet, two inches, that means the first five feet of height is equal to 105 pounds. And then the next two inches equals four pounds plus four pounds. So that would mean your ideal body weight, according to this calculation, is 105 plus four plus four, which is 105 plus four, which is eight. So it's 113 pounds. Now you can take that number. A lot of people, when they do this calculation, they're like, are you kidding me there? I haven't been 113 pounds since high school. There's no way I can get there. Take that number. You can add another 10 pounds to it if you want. If you are finding that that's a little bit too aggressive, that's totally fine. So your ideal body weight in this calculation would be somewhere between 113 and 123 pounds. And if you can kind of target somewhere in that range, then you're going to be closer to your ideal body weight for sure. Use that as a basic calculation. If any of this seems a little bit Greek to you, then pick up a copy of the Mastering Diabetes book. Just go to Amazon. Grab a copy of it, as you can see on the screen right there, and that can help set you on your way for sure. There's no question this could help set you on your way. People could also check out our audio book, Cyrus. We read the book ourselves, and we added in some extra material in there. It was really fun. So if you like listening to audiobooks while you're exercising or doing laundry, walking your dog, it's a great resource. I, I didn't actually read it. I just hired an AI robot to do it for me. <laughs> that robot did a great job. It sounds a lot like you. Technology's come a long way, let me tell you. This video was just a snippet of a much more in-depth discussion. Click on the link on the screen to check out the full-length episode. Now, the science behind health is overly complicated, unfortunately, but getting healthy doesn't have to be. Visit masteringdiabetes.org slash start. Answer some questions about yourself, and schedule a free consultation to talk with somebody on our team who's going to show you exactly how we've transformed the lives of thousands of people using the Mastering Diabetes Method. We have a limited number of spots available, and that's why it's imperative to find a good fit. Again, visit masteringdiabetes.org start to schedule a free zero-commitment discovery call and start taking control of your health today.